Alright, so I'm here with part 7, and I am at the Krell Canyon. And I'm going to show you this uh, little glitch I found, uh, like, months ago, somewhere near January uh, 2011. Now what you do is get over here, and then jump up here. Now what you have to do is, you have to keep walking, and then hold R2, and then keep pressing X until he high jumps, and then X and strike, and you're on top of this area. It doesn't do anything much, but, you know, this is really cool because you can do, like, a shortcut to get over there to get them hollow plant piece. Really, really useful. Well, only if you have Clank. And one thing that's uh, really cool is when you go over here, you go right through in the sidewalk. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't really see in the footage. Oh, yeah, right now I can't see. Now, if you jump over here, you're, like, inside the rock in the sidewalk. And you can see everything through, like, in glitch mode. You can see the, the nice variety of the water. Yeah. It's really cool, though. So, yeah. I recommend you to try it out if you really want to. And this is really good for green screen, actually. If you want to make, a, like, a series of the Ratchet and Clank thing. So, yeah. That's it. Now I'm going to show you the next glitch. Alright. Okay, this glitch is probably, you know, really old, but I'm just going to explore just for the lols. So the original found is Zaza Future. Now I'm going to do it my way because I have Clank now. So what you do is glide hyper strike, and then high jump. Keep pressing X to get faster momentum, and then high, ju uh, high jump here, and then strike, and then get over here. And go over here, so I'm just going to keep long jumping. I can't be bothered to use the hover boots yet. And then use your hover boots and then glide here. And now I'm going to speed up a little because uh, the footage is incredibly long. And look at this. You're here. Which is quite awesome. Um, I did find out the glitch had to get, you know, on top of there. But, you know, I can't be bothered to record footage of it. The glitch was nothing really special, seriously. So I'm just going to continue on. Around here, you're supposed to go. So, yeah. See, so what you have to do is go over here. Now I'm gonna speed up again. Yes, just as I used to say, the footage is really, really long. Despite why this video is 12 minutes long. <laughs> so now you're here and you can actually stand on top of it. So you're under the Corel Canyon, and I gotta tell, this is really great. And the reason why it's great because all the rocks are touchable and walkable and aka solid so this is really cool because when you actually can explore around you can just do anything whatever you want to so I'm just going as far as I can go it will be a little bit speed ups but you know just just a little bit despise that you know the entire footage is just me going through this rock and I have to speed up because uh, the video will be actually too long so yeah so I'm just gonna go uh, two times speed because I uh, don't need to go ultimate just gonna, just gonna show where you can explore it's really cool this glitch is this glitch is not one of my personal favorites if you know my personal favorite glitch um, has to be how to get on top of the Orvis chamber as Ratchet as you can tell I showed that in part uh, two of the Kraken time glitches so yeah this entire footage is just me just showing off just where which area you can explore. You can o explore all the way to the end. I did I did reach until the end and it was worth it for me. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, um remember in part two I mentioned how to uh fight Alistair Asthma as Clank. Well basically um if you if you actually noticed from part two I did a tutorial. Now I'm gonna explain. Um when you're at the Battle of Nefarious and basically, you know, reload your game when you're in the middle of it, and then when the battle starts, when you're actually outside the arena, die, defeat Nefarious, and then you're at the Clank part, defeat the Clank part, uh, finish the Clank part, then you're at the Ratchet part, finish the Ratchet part, and then right if you're at the Battle of Alistair Asthma, just kill yourself. And check this out. Voila! Yeah, Clank is in this area. That's right. Yeah, you're at this area's Clank. Now, um, 
you're probably wondering, um, oh, you get the point, Alice Rosen. Okay, some, suddenly you won't be skipping to the battle when you actually walk, see? About right now, it should be in the battle, and you, there's a bridge over there, but you go right through. So what you have to do is perform this glitch, which was found two years ago. I forgot who was the original founder of this glitch, but I, I'm pretty sure it was found two years ago. I did remember. I, I knew, I knew that this glitch was founded by someone two years ago. And then go over here, and oh yeah, this is another example. You can also get on top of the Orvis chamber as Clank, but since uh, you know it's a really old glitch, I'm gonna speed up. Uh, I found a way how to do the ratchet, so yeah. And go right through here, and voila, you're finding Alistair as, as Clank. And this is what happens if Clank um, forgot to shut the door and has to force the fight Alistair in order to save Ratchet. But uh, since it's way too late and Alistair already pulled the trigger, <laughs> Ratchet is never going to be saved, and Clank has to stop him. And I don't know how it ended, but you know, this is like a. Uh, Time paradox ish, what if ending, sort of. So now Clank has no choice to fight Alistair Asma, but miserably fails. Yeah, to be quite honest, fi fighting Al Alistair as Clank is incredibly hard. It's almost impossible. But if you really want the challenge, okay, good luck defeating him with Clank only. It's hard. Really hard. So yeah, next glitch. Okay, this glitch was found by DR Game Extras. Yes, he's mentioned again, and this glitch is fantastic. It's gonna be one of the best glitches in the Sonic Museum. So what you do is enter a a beta version of a Gorian battle, like platforming uh, action, whatever, and then equip your hover boots. And then why, when you fall, quickly do uh, the comet strike, as it's called, yeah, and then keep holding forward and the boost button of the hover boots, and then. Um, when you're like low enough, just let go, and then you start going. And look at this, Ratchet's going like really on crack. This looks like Ratchet's on crack. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. And now I'm gonna speed up because this footage is also incredibly long. So I'm gonna speed up way down. And you have to get on top of this snakish electric electrical thingy. And there you go. It's solid. Holy crap. Well, the only thing is, uh, Ratchet is crazy right now. He's on crack with the hover boots. <laughs> yeah, this is a really, really hilarious glitch. As you can tell for Ratchet. Look at this. Oh my god. That is awkward. That is really awkward, seriously. So, yeah. And he's swinging his invisible wrench. And, oh my. Wow. Clank is always on his head, which is weird. Yeah, this is gonna be the strangest glitch I've ever seen, but still cool because you can you can actually get on top of the snakes, and this glitch is very very awesome. It's worth it to try. I tried everything to get Ratchet back in a normal position, but it turns out I never did, so I'm just stuck with this just for a little while. So yeah, really really awesome glitch. I really love it. You can just go anywhere you want to. Uh, I think I'm supposed to forgot to speed up here because the footage is long, and I'm so stupid not to speed up. But oh well. And I got a game over. But it doesn't matter because I am still here, and what the heck? Yes, I'm not back to the way. I'm actually at the start when I have to choose the challenges. I'm just continuing while I'm back at here. This game, this glitch is really awesome. I, I just gotta give a credit to DR and Game Rexers. He found a really good glitch. You know, to be quite honest, this is actually the best glitch in. D okay, here's another footage. I, I was attempting to go to those blocks, but they aren't solid as, you know, as uh, what I expected. But yeah, I'm just gonna speed up really quick in this footage because I'm going to show off the next glitch. Uh, just if, if you see in this footage, it's not worth it to try. So, yeah. Anyways, next glitch. Okay, I'm at Vorslan's ship, uh, the third visit. Now, this is like what I call a little speed run, if you really want to complete this quickly. Um, what you have to do is get on top of this bull crank, and then high jump, and then strike. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do that again. Alright, so. Now, um... First, I'm going to show you something for the little speedrun rise, if you really want to skip the swing shots. But if you go over here, um, you basically save the first creature, 
uh, ah, and it's not a creature, it's not like a robot device thing, I don't know, anyways, and here, here's the, here's the speed run I'm going to show you, so, what's this worth to try, okay, when you go on this, equip your hover boots and then glide in here, you can also go over here without using, um, the pipe, but it's really harder, I'm just going to show you here, and thankfully I successed, and that, there you go, there's a the speed run, so, yeah. Okay, the last glitch is actually like that, you know, the glitch from Size Matters where um, you're standing on a platform and Clank is like still flying, but if you high jump and go through this like cutscene, you'll, you'll see what's going to happen. And look at this, Clank is still in the glide mode and it goes like derp face. So, yeah. The glitch, yeah, this glitch is also in size matters, and uh, I suppose the PS2 version, I, I think it also works in the PSP version as well. So the size matters for friends is here. <laughs> so yeah, this is really cool because if you're while fighting Lord Vorsalon, Clank is going in this mode. Um, it only works in this level wise. I haven't even tried in the other ones. I should have. I think it works in every one, every single planet that has with Clank in it with this. But it's really cool. But the, in order to deactivate the the glitch, you have to just glide, just like in Size Matters. Or oh, wait, in Size Matters. Okay, that was part seven. And yeah, there's not that much glitches because I don't know. But I think I ran out of glitches in a cracking time. But maybe if I if I'm actually having the time of looking around for glitches in this game, I probably will. And probably if you're wondering if I'm gonna do all for one glitches, uh, it's coming in order to do glitches, and yes, I have to find the glitches themselves first, but, yeah, that was part 7, so, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm going back to the fairy skin, the fairy skin is back, whatever, and, Banjo Ratchet, but anyways, see you in the next video.